What's up guys, Crypto Savvy here. I hope everybody's having a fabulous Saturday. We're gonna take a look at Bitcoin, why I believe there's a massive move coming. We'll take a look at both the bearish and the bullish case scenario. I'm leaning bullish, as you can see. Um, I wanna remind you guys too, we're giving a free t-shirt away tomorrow in tomorrow's video. All you have to do to enter to win is make sure you're subscribed to the channel. Click the thumbs up and leave a comment in the description below. Any comment, let me know what you think of the video. Let me know what you think Bitcoin's going, whatever. Also, there's a free Discord group in the description below the video. It's totally free, guys. Awesome community. Check it out. There's some other affiliate links down there also that help the channel out. I really appreciate it. And let's get on with the video. All right, guys, as always, just a reminder, I'm not a financial advisor. This is not financial advice, nor is it trading advice. Do your own due diligence before doing anything. There's a disclaimer on the bottom. We're going to look at the fear and greed index. I want to let you guys know, too, we're going to look at a longer term chart. A, a guy that belongs to the Discord, Remco, had showed me a chart. I'll show you his, and then I reworked it a little bit, and we'll take a look at it. And for the long term, it looks really damn bullish, guys. So let's look at the fear and greed index. We're at 27. Um, I'm not sure where we were at yesterday. I think we're up a little bit, but we are in the fear still. And I do believe we're gonna see a massive move. Let's look at the headlines real quick. Um, former Bitcoin skeptic thinks the price is about to explode. And if you guys wanna read that, check it out. I'm just going over the headlines. Um, highest in two years, 65% of Bitcoin hash power is in China. Sounds kind of fuddish. Uh, Bitcoin price must hit 7.3 to avoid bearish Bollinger Band. Um, and we've talked about that in the monthly, and we'll talk about that. I don't use the Bollinger Bands. I use EMAs, but we'll talk about that um, and why I believe we need a big move this weekend. I guess it could wait till Monday, but I think we're going to have it this weekend, guys. Um, Bitcoin risk deeper drop after shallow price bounce. Anyways. You get the idea. There's a lot of FUD in the news. Um, taking a look at the longs over on Bitfinex, everybody's making a big deal out of. I do believe that, you know, this really isn't that big of an issue. And I actually, I'm sure you've seen it before, but all these highs after them, all these long highs, we had a huge rally up. So I believe this is going to be a massive rally. Um, and I believe we may see it this weekend. If not this weekend, for sure, the beginning of next week, we're going to see a huge move. Like I said, we'll take a look at the bearish case scenario, too. Um, let's take a look at Bitcoin on the <clears throat> monthly chart. So we've been looking at this falling channel here or falling wedge, bull flag, whatever you want to call it. And what I've been looking at here is if you look at the... 21 EMA, we're at the 7,050 range, and the 13 EMA is around the 7,630 range. Um, I'd like to see a close above or below one of these to give us, you know, our either bearish down here or bullish case scenario up here. We'll take a look at that in a minute. Let's take a look. We're going to do some RSI analysis too. That's very interesting. And once we get to the four hour, I'm going to show you why I believe we're most likely not going to fall down any further. And if I'm wrong, then the bearish case kicks in. So let's look at where we're at with the weekly chart. Same thing. I have the falling wedge drawn in here, which we've had one, two, three, four touches on now on the bottom, two touches on the top. It's all we need. Um, some people like to bring it down here on the bodies. I don't like to use bodies. I use wicks. I think it's more precise. But what I was talking about before we get into the RSI is <clears throat> looking at the EMAs here, you can see the eight is wanting to cross down below the 21. That'll be extremely bearish for a close this week. If we close down here, these are definitely gonna cross. If we get a good big push up this weekend, that will keep those from crossing. We've seen that stuff happen before. Um, but yeah, I'm really looking for a move up this weekend, guys. Like I said, if not, it may not be till the beginning of next week, but I do think we're going to get a huge move up. Um, more likely than a move down, but we will take a look at the bearish case. So just looking at the RSI in the weekly, I have the trend lines drawn here, falling wedge. 
as you can see, I have this yellow line in the middle of falling wedge, which we were getting resistance, resistance, resistance. We broke through, came back down, tested it for support. It does look like the RSI is rolling over for the weekly. So on the bearish case, most we would probably come down to test this red trend line that I have here. That was old support back here. Um, not to say that it has to happen, um, but it is a possibility we need to keep in mind. Now, let's look at the daily. And I have, if we went straight up within the next couple days, um, the top of this, our resistance up here is around the 90, around the $9,200 $9, range. Um, let's take a look at the bearish case scenario. Then we'll go into the RSI and show you why I am looking at the bullish case scenario. All right, so looking at this as a rising wedge that I've drawn here, it does look like we peeked through it. So not this line isn't necessarily, these lines aren't necessarily correct, but a measured move off that, the breakdown of that would be around the 58.65 range. And if we hit it and we look at the date, if we were to go down here, it would probably be right at the end of December. Again, guys, I, I highly doubt that's gonna happen, but we do need to keep it in mind. I also have a lower worst case scenario target. And if we look here, um, let's see, look here from the swing low to the swing high, I have the Fibonacci's on here and 5,400 is the 0.786. That's the worst case scenario guys. Um, and if this was to drag out, you know, it could take all the way to, you know, the middle of next year before we see that. Again, that's the bearish case. I am not leaning bearish here. I am definitely leaning bullish. And let's look at where we could be looking up. If we went straight up here today, um, we would be looking around the $7,560 range. If we did it tomorrow, we'd be looking around the $7,550 range. Um, that's if it was today or tomorrow that we move up. Now let's look at the RSI. As you can see, I have this <clears throat> wedge drawn in here or this bull flag in the RSI. We have dipped below it, but guys, remember in the RSI, it can move back up before the end of the day and keep us inside this. If that's the case, I think it'll be really bullish. Um, if we don't have that move up today, like I said, most likely Sunday or Monday, if this plays out, if we come all the way back down here, this trend line could be wrong. It may be more of a channel and we come down and test this wedge again but i do not believe that's the case i think we are making a wedge here and i believe it's just like that like i said um, we would have to come back up here before the daily close to verify this and then we would be looking to come up and test this and if that breaks i believe that's the huge move up um and I would think if we break this, we're going to at least come up in the RSI and test this trend line here, which could be, it could be that, you know, uh, anywhere from 7,500 to 7,700, maybe even higher, the 55 EMA is up at the 79, but we're going to dig in a little bit deeper as we go into the four hour now. And <clears throat> we're going to keep an eye on the, the RSI and the price action here so I can show you, but First, I wanna zoom in so I can get some of this stuff out of the way. As you can see, we have a falling channel I have drawn here. And the measured move of this falling channel, guys, if we were to pop up, and it, and it changes depending on where we pop up, guys. But if we were to go up today or tomorrow, we're gonna to be somewhere in the $8,200 range. If we are to break this top. I'm not saying that's gonna happen necessarily, but uh, I would definitely keep an eye on it. That would be breaking around the 7,500 zone. Now I wanna show you the RSIs. If we go from the swing low here, I'm sorry, the Fibonacci to the swing high here. Our 618 is down here at the 7,040. Um, so it is possible we go down, tag that before going up. But I also have in the longer term, the 0.65, as you guys know, in between the 0.618, which is here, and the 0.65 in the more macro chart is the golden pocket zone. So anywhere in here, we could get a huge bounce. But I also, I want to point out the 
65 is right at the 6800 right around the 6900 actually and the point 786 of this move here from swing high to swing low is 68.2 so if we break down below this we're most likely headed down to between 68 and 6900 um again guys i don't think that's going to happen but i could be wrong and that's why we have the charts here if we go down below the if we break the old low at 70 around 70 70 range we're most likely headed down to 68 or 69 um again i don't think that's going to happen but again i could be wrong um i know a lot of people are starting to draw and make a thicker line here this as a possible descending channel or descending triangle i don't think so i'm going to show you why with the rsi now and <clears throat> let's take a look at it all right so i've i've let me get this out of the way all right that clears it up a little bit we'll get the emas out of the way also and to clean the chart up so you guys can see what i'm talking about all right as you can see i have this the white the top of this channel here which is right here as you can see down here in the rsi let me zoom in a little bit Hope you guys can see this good. On the RSI, we had one touch here. This didn't quite touch. Obviously, that was just a fast, quick wick. Um, you know, this could be put down like this, but I'm going to keep it up here. Like I said, I like to use the wicks. But as you can see right now, I have this yellow line drawn from this point here, which is here. We did have this that did not come down that was hidden bullish divergence and it dropped below here so that i'm counting that out right now and the next one line of support is here here which we had here and we are testing this line here um, now if we are to go down break through this line um, then i believe we'd be coming down to test the bottom of this channel again and the worst case the bearish case scenario we could be coming all the way back down to test the bottom of this channel or the top of this wedge which if we were going to do that guys that would be really soon within the next day or two also so that could be the huge move down or huge move up I, like i said i'm steering for up i think we're going to get a bounce off this come back and retest up here and possibly go higher and if we do that'll be that 8200 dollars range um and of course we looked at our our lower targets already if we were to break down from here this one would get us to around 6200 put a target in there depending on where we broke that obviously anyway 6100 actually no that's about 62 it'll be more over here about 6150 somewhere in that range if we broke down from this channel um, again guys I don't see that happening um, if we do get some more downward action, we may get a quick wick before a move up. But guys, I think we're going to see something like this here. Um, and not necessarily going to have this drop. Um, we may be done right where we're at and continue up from here. But we'll have to obviously see what happens. Let's look at one more thing. And let's see if there's any divergence here and there is a little divergence as you can see this right now where the four hour candle let me zoom in a little bit on this so you can see it we're a little bit lower right here on the price action than over here and we're higher over here that is bullish divergence guys so again i think <clears throat> we may stay down in this area for another few hours and then pop up from here but i i do think we are going to get support on this line if we don't keep in mind we're going towards the 68 6900 but I think we're going to get support here and at least come up to tr test this in, in the RSI to test the top of this channel. And to test the top up here would be around the 65, 6500, 6550, somewhere in that range. We are going to put, we're just going to put it at 6500 um, or 7500. I'm sorry, did I say 6500? My bad. Somewhere in this range, um, could be as high as, depending on how quick we go up, 65.50. But I'm going to leave this target here. That will be if the RSI gets support here and bounces up to this range somewhere. And if that breaks, like I said, 
Uh, my target is going to be, let's measure that again if we were to break out here, right around that 8,200, guys. So that's what I'm looking at. Um, first target, 75. Seconds, 8,200. If this line holds, if it doesn't hold, then we're looking at 68, 69. And I told you guys, don't forget to leave a comment for the free t-shirt. Oh, Remco. This is the chart he sent me. I know it's kind of messy. He calls it the toothpaste squeeze chart. I kind of cleaned it up, maybe changed a little bit of stuff on it. But looking at the long term here, um, as you can see where we're at now, let me show you guys what we were watching at the beginning of the year. This was the 2013 bull run followed by the bear market. We had two touches of resistance on this trend line before starting the bull market. 2017 bull market followed by the bear market two touches of resistance before starting this bull market and same thing we are in this falling wedge now now let's look at price action so i threw some uh, fib channels on here right um this is what he had he had laid out he didn't have this one laid out I'm not paying so much attention to this one this is the area i want to watch as you can see <clears throat> how much you can see the support we get on these fib lines and then resistance and then you know this is when we broke through our capitulation in 2018 and we rode that line before breaking through and as you can see on this <clears throat> we have this line here once it got in here it got squeezed came back down tested it shot up and then just like where we're i believe this is where we're at now in this cycle and as you can see once it popped up above this so once we pop up above this again i believe that's huge bullish momentum and if we look if this was a four-year cycle and it ends december 2021 we are looking at a if this is correct i drew this line off of these peaks across which also met up with this fib around three thousand five hundred dollar bitcoin give or take that would be amazing obviously there's no guarantees but that is looking pretty promising, guys. If we, uh, like I said, we get this squeeze in here, pop out, you know, maybe come up on these fibs and it be something like that. Definite, definitely looks like a damn good possibility, guys. So that's, that is what we're looking at there. Again, don't forget to leave your comment for the free t-shirt. You can pick it out on my wife's um web page i'm also going to leave a bybit tutorial here if anyone's interested in leverage trading just be very careful don't do high leverage um and don't put in more money than you're willing to lose and obviously you won't be upset and lose everything but anyways uh yeah you can come in here to pick out the t-shirt also have you can order t-shirts and stuff she can put whatever you want on any of this stuff aluminum signs coffee mugs for Christmas gifts, great Christmas gifts ideas. She can put pictures on them, family pictures, whatever you want, any coin you want, any saying you want, whatnot. And if you order today or tomorrow, you also get a free Bitcoin um, Christmas ornament along with it, with the $25 or more purchase. So check it out, inkyourimage.com. There is a link below in the description with other affiliate links that really help the channel out. So check them out, guys. And uh, thanks for tuning in. I'm out of here.